So gut instinct or data, which platforms are interesting to you right now? Because we've seen you know, big layoffs at Meta, you know, Google, not quite sure what to think about that. Obviously, it depends on the product. But what's rising on your radar and what's falling off? Well, first, I've been in big tech, so, so oftentimes- That's true. In, in good times- Chief strategy officer Microsoft. You know, in, in, in good times, they tend to over be, they tend to hire a lot, and then they look for an excuse to let go of a number of people. So, so I think they're, they're taking the first excuse to trim down their payrolls. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they're in any serious trouble. I think Google is really, really quite strong. I think, think you just have to look at the landscape now as, as being a more competitive one, that we were always concerned that everything was going to be Facebook or Google, and that the growing power margins of those two companies would make digital advertising inefficient for uh, advertisers, number one, uh, and second, you know, uh, eventually get rid of agencies like us because they would take over those functions. Well, not, that's really what, not what's happening. You've got TikTok creating lots of competition for Facebook. You, you've got, I think, Amazon and Walmart marketplaces creating competition to Google. And I'm really excited about Netflix bringing advertising because now if streaming is going to be ad-based as well as subscription-based, that opens up whole new territories for us. Look, what we're really seeing now is that the streaming companies led by Netflix are adding an advertising tier. And that's, that's great for us. And it's also great for small businesses. Right? What was the promise of the internet? The promise of the internet was low cost, targeted marketing. And that really wasn't happening because two companies got so much of the margin right here. And the more we see competition and CPMs go down, the more effective online advertising will be. And what's happening is there's real competition now. The networks have to face competition from Netflix. Uh, Facebook and Meta have to face competition from TikTok. Google has to face competition uh, from Walmart and the Amazon marketplaces. Prices are going to go down. Digital uh, advertisements aren't going to be an unlimited quantity anymore by one or two companies. And that's good news for A, what we do to sort out this mess, and B, for the small businesses themselves who found it increasingly difficult to scale up digital advertising for themselves. What about the fact that I can go on my smartphone and say, do not track? I mean, that certainly was devastating to Facebook, you know, and Meta being the parent company, but is that something that's impacting just the attractiveness overall, the privacy concerns and this move toward, I own my data and you better compensate me for it? Well, we have to, I think, educate consumers and regulators better. When consumers say, oh, I'm buying socks, don't track me, what are they doing? they're making selling socks more expensive. They're adding to their own cost of socks, but they don't realize it. Now, I know consumers don't want their mail read, they don't want their text read, they don't want their prescriptions and medical stuff read. That should really be off limits. But consumers should be re-educated when it comes to shopping for various things, and cars and handbags and, and socks and what have you, the more information they give, the cheaper it will be to reach them, the lower will be the cost of goods, and it's actually a benefit to them. And they've been scared into the opposite. What is the sock company going to do? Send them socks? Right? Well, okay, you're, you've got Global next to your name, Stagwell Global. So let's, let's head over to Europe. Is that a cautionary tale um, in terms of, because there are very strict privacy regulations there. Is that what we want to avoid? I know you've also expanded to Asia. I mean, from a, where does the U.S. sit in sort of the global context of Again, consumer I think power? Giving companies responsibility to maintain your data responsibly is good. Having everybody, every time they go to a website, click yes or no, that's a waste of everybody's time. What they really should do is let us make some master choices. Okay, I'm good for all these websites, but I'm not good for healthcare. I'm not good for this, right? And make those master choices. Let them be applied automatically. Don't tie up and gunk up everybody's experience for no real reason. Given the experience that you have, um, how do you manage this stuff yourself? You know, so do you, do you feel like, um, do you open your data to the world and the understanding that you're going to get cheaper socks as a result of it? 
yes, you're going to find me. I, I'm, I'm pretty much exactly what, what I just recommended. I don't like people reading my mail. In fact, when I found out at Microsoft that Google read your mail, I set up my own mail server mm -hmm. <laughs> at the time. I, I don't want people having my medical uh, information. But when it comes to everything else, when it comes to whether, whether I like you know, pickles on my hamburger or not, it's okay.